Well, hey there, it's Mr. Doro. Today we're going to be talking about how to round numbers to the correct number of significant digits that are required based on the mathematical function that you're using. The first thing that we got to remember is that the place value that a number starts in, it has to stay in. So if you round off to the nearest hundreds, which is right here in this spot, then you may have to have placeholders to keep it in there. Or if your first digit starts in the 10,000 spot, like the 4 does right here, then you may have to have placeholders or write it in scientific notation. That's even better. Rounding with sig figs can be a little bit different than you do in math class where normally you're rounding to a certain place value. Rounding with sig figs is rounding to the correct number of sig figs. So first of all, you got to determine that proper number. And when we do that, then you can check that off. And then you're going to count the sig figs from left to right, starting with the first non-zero number. And so when you do that, you check it off. And then look at the number following the sig figs. So after you get your certain number of sig figs, if that next number is 6 or above, then we're going to round that last significant figure up. If it's 4 or below, then we're going to keep that last significant figure the same. Now, I didn't include fives in there because there's a special rule in chemistry for fives. If that following number after the sig figs is a five, then if there are any numbers after it, then you round that last significant figure up. So if it were like this, 155, and these were our two sig figs right here, you look at this next one, well, that's a five, so there, is, there are no numbers after it, and that would be on this last step right here. If the last significant figure is even, so we look at this last sig fig right there, if that was even, we leave it. But if it's odd, we round it up. Five is odd, so we would round this up to 160. Now, if this were 165, uh, let me write this down here, 165, then we wanted two sig figs. There would be our two sig figs. We look at this, that's exactly five. And so we would say the last significant figure was even, so we would leave this. And that would also be 160. I know that may be frustrating to some of you, but that's to even everything out. And then the last thing is, but what if it were 165, sorry, 165.1, that's a five. Well, now here's our two sig figs, if that's what we wanted. This is the one we look at, that's a five, but it's not exactly five because there's a number after it. So then we would round this one up to 170. So we're gonna round these numbers to three sig figs. And so at three sig figs, we start at the first non-zero number, which is the five in this one. There's our second one is the six, and then the five. We look at this one right here to determine whether we round it or not. And that one is already in three sig figs, but we're going to write it in scientific notation. So we're going to write it 5.65 times 10 to the fifth grams. And then this next one right here, we go to the first non-zero number, which is the two, and the three, and the five. And then we look at this guy right there. We don't round that up. So in the correct scientific notation, we would not have these for significant figures. So in scientific notation, this would be 2.35 times 10 to the negative fourth meters. Here are those same two numbers, but now we want it in two sig figs. So two sig figs, we start right there, we look at this one, that is exactly a five, so we have to, and there are, these are zeros afterwards, so that is right on the five, so we have to look at this last sig fig and determine whether we have to round that up or not. That is even, so we're going to leave it, even leave it, and that in scientific notation would be 5.6 times 10 to the fifth grams. For this one right here, there's our two sig figs, non-zero numbers. We look at that one. Again, that's exactly a five. And so we look at the number before it. That one's odd, so we're going to round it up. And that would be 2.4 times 10 to the negative fourth meters. And the last pair that we're going to do together is four significant figures. In order to do that, we have to one, two, three, four, count these. We look at that one right there, that zero. We do not round it up. So this is going to be 5.650 times 10 to the fifth grams. This one right here, we start the first non-zero number, 2350. This is the one we look at to determine whether we round it up. We do not. This is going to be 2.350 times 10 to the negative fourth meters. 
Okay, so now it's your turn to try it. I'd like you to round each of these measurements to three sig figs. Remember, when you write the answer, to make sure to include the units on the end, seconds, centimeters, and kilograms. So go ahead and pause it and write those. And these are the same three measurements, and this time I'd like you to make them two sig figs. And so if you need to look back, then you can do that. Remember to include the units. And finally, I promise this is the last one, I would like only one sig fig on this one. If you round each of those to one sig fig, including the units, and then practice these rounding techniques. Have a nice day.